Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the 2021 Mortal Kombat movie. I recently got a very big urge to go ahead and re-watch this because the new game came out. And even though I suck major ass at Mortal Kombat games, I mean I am fucking terrible. Just watch some of my gameplays to see. I'm, I'm very bad, but you know what? I have fun with them and I really enjoy them and the movies, I also enjoy them as well. Now the first movie and the second movie, or I guess basically like the old one and then the reboot, have a very different type of tone, not only because of the time that they were made, but the first one goes a little bit more into like pure campiness, whereas this one takes it a little bit more seriously. It feels more grounded. And you feel it right away because the opening to this movie is fucking amazing. One of my favorite opening scenes to any movie. As a matter of fact, Hiroyuki Sonata's Scorpion in this movie has the best scenes like straight up. He's only in it for like a total of I don't know maybe five to ten minutes, but he steals the show every fucking time Obviously everybody wants to see Scorpion. That's a Mortal Kombat fan, but he just he just steals it I mean, that's really what it is the best scenes in the movie involve him and other than Scorpion Like the best character in the movie is easily Kano. He's fucking hilarious the entire time You know, he doesn't really have like that moment where like, actually, you know what to be fair He does have that moment where he shows how much of a badass he is on his own but for the most part, he's really just being a, a big old goofball, and I fucking love it. This movie, for me, pretty much nails everything that I wanted to see out of a Mortal Kombat movie, and the things that you would assume would be, you know, uh, I guess not its strengths or its weaknesses are its weaknesses. I mean, the writing is, is pretty goddamn shoddy. I honestly, at one point, just had to say, fuck it, I don't even understand what's going on. I mean, even the games that have, you know, are pretty crazy when it comes to story and all over the place in their own right, but it's a video game. It's a little bit different. When it comes to the movie, I just had to turn my brain off. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck they're saying or all this shit. Like, they're not supposed to be able to fight, but then they keep saying, like, oh, we're, you know, we're breaking the rules and shit. But then there's, I don't know, there's a bunch of information that leads literally nowhere and nothing really happens. There's like all these rules, none of them matter. It makes no difference. So if you're watching this movie, turn your fucking brain off and just enjoy the action scenes is what I would say. And those are epic. I love that this movie was like hard rated R. You have some pretty goddamn fucked up brutal moments and I, I loved every bit of it. It definitely fit, obviously, the whole theme of Mortal Kombat being brutal as hell. There's a lot of cool game references. Like I said, Scorpion and, Kano, or Scorpion and Kano are probably my favorite parts, but the characters as a whole are pretty good, you know, even though, like I said, the writing is pretty shoddy and a lot of the lines that these guys have to say I don't know how they like set them with a straight face. I feel like there's only a few of them that really make them work and not sound pretty goddamn stupid. But for the most part, it's just a really fun, enjoyable movie that definitely has its flaws, but the things that it should nail and at least make super fun are fun. I'm excited for when they come out with Mortal Kombat 2 because I think it's going to be just, again, a really fun movie. And hopefully they just take, you know, some of the things that were just not as strong in this one and just, you know, tighten them up a little bit, you know, give them a little bit more, a uh, little bit more attention, you know, a little bit more attention to the writing or just... A be, just be a little bit more clear because honestly the concepts and the things they were talking about and things they were setting up are kind of cool like them bending the rules of the tournament but they don't explain it at all they just kind of do it and I get it because you want to get to the cool shit but it also makes you just kind of stop caring about what the hell they're talking about and all the rules because you can't really follow it. So regardless of its flaws, I think it has its memorable moments. It's just a good Mortal Kombat movie. Like, I'm not going to say, like, it's a fucking great movie or anything, but it's a good Mortal Kombat movie. I think that's a great way to put it, and I would definitely recommend it because, again, I just think it's a fun turn-your-brain-off type of movie. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know what you thought, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.